I'm going to get some energy drink real quick. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go minicon loadout. We're going to replace build up for high jump. And we're going to keep Aurora, going to keep slap shot, going to keep kickback. Sounds good. Um, yeah, that's another good combo. Now let us head back into the deep Amazon and get that last minicon. And Datacon. Now I know I'm returning to the deep Amazon, but since I'm only going to be there for like a minute or two, I'm still going to group this under the video title as Starship. So, yeah. If you're watching this video and you're confused because the title says Starship, but I'm in the deep Amazon, don't worry about it. I'm only here for a bit. Right, so this is that hallway that we kind of get into. Sometimes you need a running start. Just like that, and we're good. So this is where we couldn't get to before, but now we can. There's the Datacon right there. Last Datacon for this level. Score. And... There's the uh, enemies guarding the Minicon. I can't believe I didn't hit a single one of them. Alright. I don't know how many there are, but it's a lot. Whatever it is. I mean, nothing that we can't handle because none of them have shields, but it's still a lot. I think this might be the last one. Yep, looks like it. Alright, so, um, this is the last minicon for this level. Kind of nostalgic coming back to the deep Amazon. Um shock something shield wall shield wall okay yeah this is um if you remember back in alaska i was telling you how deflector just protects against blaster damage um kickback protects against blaster damage and reflects it this is basically a shield this is basically the missile version of deflector it uh protects against missile and melee damage so if people are wailing on you or you're being shot with rockets it'll protect you uh, but it does not protect against blasters. Um, I don't need it, so I'm going to send it to HQ. But basically, that would have been really handy to have when we were fighting Tidal Wave. I mean, there's no way we could have got it without using cheats, but it would have been really handy to have nonetheless. Alright, so let's head back to HQ. And uh, go back to the Starship. Alright, my minicom loadout is what I want it to be, so we're just going to dive straight into uh, the starship. Now, in the bridge, I believe there's a commander unit and two gorilla units. I think that's what it is. And a minicon, which is the only minicon in the map. The rest are datacons. And you may be saying, well, I didn't see any datacons. You will. Alright, so basically, this works just like an elevator. Walk up to it, press X. It also lowers the door. And then it'll close behind us, leaving us with no escape. And then there's the commander unit and the gorilla units right there. Ah, oh, I cornered myself like immediately. 
Where is he? There he is. I can't move. I got cornered again. I launched myself in the air. I hate commander units. They're like one of my least favorite units to fight. If not the least favorite unit to fight for me. Hey, I jumped over him as he charged at me. And then did I kill both the gorilla units that fast? There's no way. Well, apparently I did. Oh no, there's one still over there. I don't know why he's not attacking me. There he goes. And uh, if you'll remember from the cutscene when Starscream crashed the ship into the cliff, um, yeah, we are perched precariously on this cliff right here. Long way down, so just keep that in mind. It's a long way down. Just, you know, think on it. Keep that in mind. It might be important later. Let's get this minicon. And if I'm right, this is, I want to say... I don't remember the name of it. Aftershock, I think? Yes, Aftershock. Okay, this guy is awesome. I can't attach him because he would overload my minicon slots. But basically, if you remember Firefight, which is that... I, I, I never really used it. I show you what it did. But it charges up and it launches a ball of energy. This is that on steroids. It's awesome. Uh, but we're going to send it to HQ. And basically, you know, first time I was playing this, I'm just walking around like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? I got the mini con. Not sure what's supposed to happen. I'm expecting a boss fight, I guess. And uh, found out that you're actually just supposed to go to this button and let yourself out. It just opens the door and you can go back out. Um, but let's see what's uh, if there's anything waiting for us on the other side of the door, shall we? Way to go, Starscream. You're such a genius. Commander, report. Do you copy? Repeat, do you copy? Yeah, I hear you. All system. Roger that. The nose of the ship seems to be buried in the ice. The bridge has been completely destroyed. You're lucky to be alive. I've scanned for an exit. A cargo hatch has blown off further up the hull. You will have to climb your way back up through the ship to locate it. The blast doors and elevators are still operational. You'll need to use them in your ascent. Scan carefully and look for a safe path up. I'm running a region scan now to locate Starscream. Did you get that? Yep. Yes. All right. So that's a turn of events, is it not? Um, this is why they have you equip high jump. Um before you enter the bridge because you need it to get back up um so I, I don't know it's just like remember earlier when i was saying how this is perhaps like the most cleverly designed map in the game this is why because not only did they have to design it in such a way where you had to get horizontally to the bridge but you also have to get vertically from the bridge back up to where you started so they had to design the entire ship keeping in mind that you'd have to climb up it which just is crazy. So now all those doors, they make sense because I'm going to have to use them um, to block areas so I don't fall to my death. So it's just so clever. The way they designed this is amazing. I, I don't know like how difficult it was to keep in mind, okay, you have to be able to move this way, but you also have to be able to move up. So yeah, so that's that. Um, now basically there's no enemies. We just have to make sure we don't fall to our deaths while climbing through this. Um, but before I start climbing through this, I'm going to reset my recording software so there's minimal chance of it crashing on my ascent. So, I'm going to pause it and I'll be back in a second. And we're back. I reset my recording software. Told you it'd only be a second. Alright, so, let's start jumping. Now this is perhaps the most challenging, like just in terms of maneuvering, the most challenging part of the game. Um, there's no combat, but just like 
getting yourself up is difficult as all get out. So I think, yeah, that button's not working, so we can't use that button. Um, we need to go the other way. And let's see, hop up here, hop up here, and let's see, where are we? Okay. So yeah, basically now, if you see if I try to jump over this and jump across, there's no way for me to jump across without falling and dying. So, let's close the door. And now, if I can get over, it's safe. So I think it's really cool how they designed this so cleverly. And there's the uh, Decepticon experiment. Um, yeah, head over there, body over there. Let's just hop up. Okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. And then just kind of use the like little ledges off to the sides to your advantage because they help a lot. They save you from falling. And it's also like beware like it's really easy for when you're using high jump to be knocked back. Like if you bump into something, you get knocked back or to the side when you didn't intend. And, um, yeah, totally throws you off and could be t potentially deadly. There's nothing really in there. I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be, but it's interesting looking. So just head up. And, uh, also be on the lookout for, oh, was that the way I was supposed to go? Am I supposed to jump over here? What is in here? Oh, look at that, a datacon. Yeah, be on the lookout for datacons because basically when the ship crashed, cargo holds burst open and the cargo holds uh, had datacons in them. So you can rescue datacons if you so choose. I don't even know really why I'm choosing to rescue the datacons because I'm not really gonna... They, they just unlock bonus features like concept art and music and whatnot and I'm not really gonna do videos showing those. So I don't really know why I'm collecting them. Probably just because it throws off my OCD. So, I mean, you don't need to collect them. They're not essential to the game. They only, um... They only unlock bonus features. But I'm going to collect them anyways. There's a few... I'll get to this later, but there's a few in the, uh, the next uh, level that I won't collect. And I'll explain why when I get there. But can I jump across to that at all? What does this do? Okay, I'm gonna see if I can jump across. <laughs> yep, made it. And now basically, you have to get up to the elevator. If you don't make it the first time, you have to backtrack. Easy enough, and let's go back up into the main part of the ship. I like what they did. If you listen, it's very subtle. But with the sound design, the elevator door opening and closing doesn't sound like it normally does. It sounds damaged, which makes sense. Like, it normally sounds a bit smoother, a bit cleaner, but I like how they... I mean, just sound design even, just like the subtle things you change with sound can make such a big impact. And I like how they made it sound like it was damaged, because it makes sense. I think it adds a lot to the game. Okay, not a lot, but it adds to the game. I like it. So now, we're back in that main room. Back in those hallways. Um, if we look up, that's the part of the ship that we walked through earlier. And it's a bit disorienting, to be honest. And these jumps are rather tricky. Here's that elevator that we took up earlier. Fancy stuff. Again, just like the way they designed this is amazing. Um, there's a dropship. Gotta jump into it. There's also one on top of the dropship that we'll get to later. And across. Made it. Like a pro. 
and then we'll go up here and up here and let me see let me yeah okay I'm gonna go this way this is not essential to go this way you do not need to go this way to get um, out of the ship but to get this data con it is so let's jump on top of the drop ship get this guy and we're good and now I'm just gonna jump oh hang on there we go go over here and then up oh. all right so yeah basically you need to come up here and then go this way and all these jumps have been relatively easy so far but there are a few tricky ones coming up here soon which I will do my best to point point out um, like this one right here first time I played this um, I did not know there was a uh, big gaping hole right there and so I just walked and fell into it um, and it's kind of if you're first or second or third time playing it's kind of a tricky jump um, I prefer going up here and jumping diagonally across like that because it gets you from the highest part of that side to the lowest part of this side so it's the most likely that you'll make it so that's my technique that's about it and then again jump this one's also very tricky because you can bounce in the walls and uh, be deflected off which kind of sucks yeah that one's a bit tricky and this one is a bit tricky as well they're all easier if you build up momentum but at the same time it's like well do you really want to get a running start because if you start running it's more likely that you'll fall off as well so just tricky stuff like that all right commander the exit is just ahead i have a lock on starscreen he is still in the area do you copy yep yes all right so basically that's the exit right there we could exit right now i'm gonna go get uh the data con real quick Ooh, there's one down there that i missed i'm gonna have to get that one too ocd so yeah, pretty much I'm going to 100% this game, except for a few of the um, data cons in the next level. I don't think this goes anywhere, does it? Plunging down, yeah. Alright, uh, I'm going to go get that data con, and then I think um, that'll do it. I think that's all the data cons in the ship itself. Um, if you notice in the cutscene... There was a few that were outside the ship, so we'll get those later. We won't be able to get them right away, and you'll understand why later. We'll be a bit too preoccupied to get them. Just gonna take this down. Oh, oh no 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 no! Crap. Well, guess what? We're back here. Fortunately, we didn't take too much fall damage. Yeah, that kind of sucks. If you're playing this your first time, this is what will happen to you pretty much like every 10 seconds. Is falling back to the beginning and having to climb it all over again. The annoying part about this now is that we have to open and close doors all over again. Take the elevator. We need some good like elevator music all right and I'm trying to remember where I saw that data con okay made it a little nervous about that jump any jumps and draw and, and driving yeah I speak English goodly any uh, jumps involving dropships can be rather, rather challenging. Okay, so it's not there. I think it's one level up. I just jumped backwards. Do you see that? Skill. So I'm going to go this way, and I think it's in the next area. I'm not entirely sure where I saw it. But I want to say in this, it's in this next area. Made it. Okay, I'm not seeing it. It's not down there either. 
Okay. Uh, don't die. Okay. And uh, made it. Okay. And I think this is the last tough jump. Got it. Like a pro. All right. Eh, where am I? This way. All right. So I think I think that's the only way to get to it is to try and drop down without dying. Let me evaluate the situation here. I'm thinking, because last time I whapped into that ledge and fell down, I think if I jump on top of the dropship itself, and then jump from the dropship over, I should be good. So, here goes nothing. Faceplant, for the win. Question is, can I make that jump? I think so. Yep, got it. All for a bonus feature that you will never see unless you play the game yourself. Okay, I'm wondering if I could jump up onto that from here, because that'd be nice. I can! Alright, and there we go. That's how you get out of the ship. Just come down here, jump off these little rocks that are conveniently placed so you don't take fall damage. And... There's warp gates! Perfect! Because we will definitely need to save. There's Datacons galore on these rocks. I thought there was one behind me, but there wasn't. Alright, so basically, you're going to want to change out your weapons before you go any further. So don't bother going to try and get those Datacons yet. 